<laughs> at least rapper. I don't want that TV for the background. Now somebody content. That's the only problem. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. You find so you say, hey, that's fine content for your house. Ah, I see your fine AC. Everything for your house, fine. Make fine. Make a husband for this my life. You don't stand. Don't marry. Don't leave you fine. Husband there for your room. Which kind of sense did that? You better pack your load. Go your husband room this night. I don't know. We need use different room. Which kind of sense did that? Why you not this? Why you not no share room? No, we don't share now. I think oh. it's baby. I just want so that's why. Okay, so in wrong from Muna. I get, I get it. I get it. Mm. You, you know the Mara. You know the Mara. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, now glory matter we see earlier on, oh, my darling sister. Hmm. Someone is asking, is that a rapper? Hey. hey. Yes, this is right. <laughs> rapper. Hey, it's very rapper. good, it's very good, it's very good, it's very good. Another person don't send me something. Chief, fine, babe, I've missed you. Hi. Hey, thank you. Legend also sent me something from some rand from SA. How are you doing, Glory? Do you feel better now I'm that you fine. and shared your problem? Um, yeah, it's kind of therapeutic to me because of um, I've how old the whole of twenty nineteen I've been running up and down like church to church. I I turned twenty four this year April. I was I was eighteen wow. going on nineteen. Wow. Yeah. So, so, huh, um, so, but how, how come at 18, you don't, they get boyfriend, you don't, they date person, you don't, they sleep for person house. That was a lot. Tell me the truth. At what age, don't lie, we're, we're, we're being honest here. At what age did you lose the V? Yeah. Hmm. I lost it when I was no like light. 18. When I was 18. I swear to God, why would I lie? I'm not like, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Are you done with school now? Where are you? you are um, yes, I'm done with school. Oh. No, I'm oh, in okay. the UK you, right I, now. Because I know you have a baby. Is this story that helped me even claim asylum eh? here? Say that again. Yeah. Is this I said this story helped me claim asylum here. Are you here. serious? Yeah. So, so, so. But the baby in court, where do you get, who's, are you married now? No, I'm not married. My, my, my baby, I had, I went, I, I just, She's seven months now, so I had her last year. Oh, um, last year, September. The then already? I was already in the UK when Who's I gave birth daddy? to her. Sorry, I'm asking. Him. The fact I, that he's I still together. I met him here in the UK. Um, we're talking, but I'm I'm not like we're not like in a relationship or but planning does he take marriage, care of the baby? anything like that. As mandated by the government, yes, he's a yes. good guy. Uh, uh, no, the government so serves him papers. He has to... to take care of the baby. Um, because of he, he's not working. So because of he, he filed for unemployment. So he's on universal credit. So they they cut half of his universal credit benefit to give to me. But the money I get for myself and baby is up to like six hundred pounds a month. Guys, if you day you can not give person yeah. money, oh, ah ah ah, down on you. So his benefit is cut in half. Yeah. How much does that? But do you have a house for the baby? Do you have a? 
Um, yeah, I've, I've been given a house. I've been given like, all, like baby has her own social services. I have mine because I'm under 25. It's more like a minor having a baby. Oh. That's how it is. Oh, but, okay. But are you working yeah. now or because of the baby? No, wow. because of baby, I'm not working. Wow. So this, that, that, yeah. Yahoo, that story of your ex trying to use you for Yahoo helped you. But did you finish school in Nigeria? Yeah. I didn't, I, I, I had to, because I was, I was in school up to my 400 level. I did, I did my magazine. I did my IT. I did everything, but the final year exam, I was unable to like finish it because of the the, the rumors that were Rumor going around, the Share drama and what everything just surrounding around. my life. Um, Daddy Fred, you know that when you move around with like Ron's girls, they will use your gist to compensate themselves. <laughs> They'll talk about you. They'll gossip you and all that stuff. And you know, you can't really catch words. You can't really come and stay, stand in a place and defend yourself. So all those things, and like the, the like my name has been like the reputation has just been damaged. So I decided to just leave. That was how I even um got reached out to Fer because I've known him long before. I went to like work with him, like become an okay, apprentice so he in his tattoo two studio. studios in Abuja. So that's it. He has a tattoo studio oh, in Abuja wow. and in Lagos. Wow. Let can send yeah. me 50 rand thank you so much legend thank you so much that's amazing thank you so much <laughs> my darling sister oh mom now yeah go, go ahead daddy freeze even you know like you know like, you know i was telling you about necros massive um part of everything me just entering the house alone the process has already like started already that that death i didn't that i escaped the death still came and met me here but i will explain to you how it happened because of um i had the lady i was living with the landlady i was living with me and her had an awkward like we said i agree this is a 70 year old woman so out of respect, I didn't want to like fight with her and everything. So she actually pushed me. I rolled, I fell from, I fell down the stairs and I ruptured my spleen. So I was in the hospital for two months because of just that, that like situation I had with the lady. So while, while I was there, um, my, no, my parents were looking for me. Everyone was trying to find out what happened because they couldn't reach me and all of that. So, like, this, this, this story I'm telling you now is just before I claimed myself on everything. This one, I was like an immigrant. Nobody, I didn't have papers, nothing, nothing. I just came to the country with faith and all of that because I'm trying to just, yeah. like, start a new life for myself and everything. So, like, I've been, I've, like, I've ever, like, ever since I fell down and everything, I noticed the next day my tummy started swelling. Mm. Like I didn't know what was wrong. Like I was in so much pain. I was like already like I think I was like half dead to start with. So um I was not asking um because I asked questions like, oh, how can I like like I'm feeling sick, I need like medication, things like that. So they said I should go to the pharmacy and all of that. So they said they can't give me any kind of medication because of um I'm not registered to a GP. They can't do anything for me. I, I need to go to the hospital to like find out what's wrong with me before they can give me any kind of medication. So because of out of fear and everything, I didn't have money. I didn't want to go to the hospital. So I stayed at home for like at least two days more before I actually eventually called 999. So I, when I called them, they they asked me and they said that, oh, like they said, asked me like, what are the symptoms I'm getting, things like that. I just explained to them that like I feel very weak and my tummy is swollen. Like what like what can I do about it? So they said that wow. I have to like get because it was like three AM. They said I need to, they said I, sh I need to get myself in an Uber and come to the hospital. This is uni um Croydon University Hospital I went to. So like the Uber driver like just left me in front and where he kept me was like the that was the main 
entrance and at that time the main entrance is closed so you have to go like, like a different route to like get to like where like they attend to you at that point in time so I, I i couldn't walk i was tired i was already like exhausted about like everything so i i pressed on the stuff to um i pressed on the doorbell and i, I pressed on the bell to like get a security okay. like, who can help me bring me in and everything so i explained i explained to them that i like i don't have papers yet yeah, all this kind of stuff. How will I get money to pay for this thing? Do you understand? They all said I should just come. It might not be anything serious. So I sat down on the chair because of the queue was very long. So while I while I approach the counter to like talk to the doctor, I just passed out because of I was like I was I wasn't eating the, my spleen everything. But before I even found that it was even like my spleen, I didn't even know what it was. So they carried me for. Like they did a lot of blood tests for me. They found infection in my body. They, 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 I, they stopped. I couldn't eat because of, they said they had to take me for scan. So I couldn't eat for that period of time while I was in the hospital. So they took me for the scan. That's how they realized that my spleen was ruptured. They had to rush me to the ICU where they, they got like four pints of blood for me. They, had, they fixed it in my neck because of like the other, my other, like my hand, my leg, they had like drips in there already so while i was there they already wrote my, they already like sent my case to like the police like see how like just to explain to them that okay this person is in the country just notify the government that of, of me being in the country and everything so like after two months of being in the hospital and intensive care um the the, the social services that do it, that was informed they walked they came in they said they wanted to speak to me. Then I was I was scared because of number one, these people have given me blood already. I don't have money. And they even they even sent my because they asked me who is your next of kin. <laughs> okay, I gave them my mom's number and my auntie's number. Uh -huh. So they sent a bill of six thousand pounds to, to them for mm -hmm. my hospital bills and everything. So like they asked me like what's like what's happening like why like they don't have this kind of money that they just brought me here for visiting like what's actually the problem but it's only me that understand what my pro what the problem is so when social services came in his name is Joshua it's so, um he came to talk to me so he asked me that like how did I sustain this injury I was like I don't even like what kind of injury are you, are you talking about was saying like the injury you sustain is like is like of like you were in a car crash so they wanted to understand so i explained to him that ccc like this is what happened and all of that stuff so i said explainer asked me okay what what was your life like back in nigeria so i explained to him like okay this is how this is how everything started back i was in school this is how like i've been living my life this is how i've been taking care of myself and fending for myself and everything so like um he said that like he's going to come back the next day with his colleague to come and speak to me and he said that she just guessed because i just came out of the icu so they didn't want to like bombard me with so many questions and so many and like a lot of things so the next day he actually came back with another lady so they sat me down and the the doc the nurse sorry the doctor that was handling my case she actually moved me to her own like to the women's ward where they were where they were carrying out some kind of tests for me and everything to see if i have like any kind of std or because of what i've said in the hospital they gave me hepatitis b vaccination and all of that so the next day when they came I, because of like i didn't want to like tell go too deep into all those things so they're not asked they're not like explaining to me like how serious the like this injury that i have and they can't let me go back to the people where I like, who like was they were who just explaining to me the reason why down. they can't let me leave the country. Who was the oh old woman that uh, pushed you down. Huh? The lady I was staying with, it was like it was a oh. mistake. Yeah, I know she ha I have no she, we have no ill intention, but it was a mistake that it happened. Huh. Um, so the ne when they came the next following day to come and speak to me, they started explaining to me why they, they cannot let me go back to Nigeria or 
go back to the house where I was staying in because of because of I've explained to them like the wrong thing. I explained to them the this the, like the rituals and everything that happened to me, the, the whole encounter and everything I, that I, I, that happened to me. So basically, while while I was sitting there, he 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 was writing down my story. He wrote down my, my story. He sent it to like there's this church in in the um, yeah. UK. Anyone that's in the UK, you know of the Salvation Army. He wrote. He wrote to them. They were the ones that that actually like pushed my case to the home office. They pushed it to the home office. The, the next day, they granted me my plea. They granted me every single thing that I needed to help me not to be illegal in the country. They gave me a house. They gave me everything. So even though people want to judge me or make fun of me, but at least like my mm. shame has turned to glory at the end of the day. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to blame my parents. I'm not going to blame, but I'll take the blame on myself because I should have known better, mm. but I'm wiser now and I'm older. So even sometimes I get scared that what if I sleep, I don't wake up. So that's why in my heart, I'm like, okay, what, can, what, what have I done? To like, if I leave, what, what does my parents have to remember me by? What do my sisters have to remember me by? So at least all I have now is my daughter. Like, if my parents now, or maybe one day I'm not able to live long, my parents can turn and look. Okay, let, this is their granddaughter. This is ask, something they can use to remember me by. Use your destiny. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. I, as far as I'm not dead, he didn't <laughs> use my destiny. Do you understand? But but I but I know that he has touched me with magic. I know that like because of after after that whole experience that have happened, when when I sleep, I have a lot of dreams. Even that the phrase I went to see TV Joshua in twenty nineteen oh. December. I went to see TV Joshua. I wanted I wanted to open up to him to even tell him like what I've been going through. He told me that like he just said that the, your, the truth will set you free. That was all he said to me. Then he laid his hand on his head and left. So my dad called because of every day because of um, after I left the hospital, I didn't I didn't go back to where I was staying. Uh -huh. My mom did not know where I was and everything so my dad called me and asked me like what did i say to them that granted me that asylum because of everyone was wondering that maybe i must have gone to put so inside trouble or maybe i must have said something so they wanted to know so i told my dad i can't say the people but i told mm. my dad that it was a show well, that's what i said he told me that he doesn't want to listen anymore that she that is okay that he believes me but i should try to find a way to forgive myself in the long run for everything. Uh so, in, in, as, in as much, I've been doing therapy, I've stopped smoking. Obviously, I stopped smoking after when I found that I was pregnant. I stopped smoking, I stopped drinking. Those things don't even, like, phase me anymore. But, but some Sometimes the fact that I have to sit mm. with myself all the time, like thinking, reminiscing, all those things is just what I even like mm. stresses me out more. Mm. So mm. 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 wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And if we, Before can you, I say um, something? Let me ask. So, in all honesty, do you think that guy did something to you, that Yahoo guy? Do you think he did something to you? I, I don't he, I With my experience now with the secret of the occult, he didn't do anything <laughs> on me. My destiny wasn't used, but I was touched mm. with magic. That's all I knew. Mm. He touched you with jazz. How destiny has he not touched been me with it.
no trust me like if if how should i put it now a pastor cannot come outside and say that oh that they they understand the spirit the spirit realm that everyone operating is different from the spirit realm that that is being used most most sometimes when i see stories on social media about people talking about all oh, this um juju priest use this person for money rituals that is not the rituals you're talking about even even you don't even need to spill blood sometimes before you can you before you can get the work done that's what i'm trying to say it's just that like it opened me up spiritually to different things i can i can sit in a certain place and I can before someone says something, I already know what the person is about and to say. You, that has something to do with your audio. Let me allow this lady to say something. What are your my dear sister? What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Hi. How Hi, Daddy Freeze. Hi, Mama. <clears throat> First of all, I want to ask you a question. Do you believe in magic? Yes. me i don't believe you know um well let me say yes then let me let you go on what you want to say okay you're so pathetic do you get and yes hey, things happen be careful, careful with you can't use those kind of words i'm already i was out of just because oh. of her story, I was logged out of TikTok. And okay. the, 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 uh, these words, how serious they can be. I've been logged out of TikTok and I was suspended for about 10 minutes. You cannot use the S okay. word. You okay, cannot use the please. F word. Nigerians don't know how to talk without using... So please. Okay. okay. All right, go ahead. That's... Let's hear you. Like, I don't think... I don't think that I don't think it happens like because okay let me just use myself for instance now when I was in school okay there's this Mbise guy I met so along the line I okay I met the guy when I was going to school do you get inside the inside the bus okay inside the bus so I met the guy we started talking we exchanged numbers so when when I, when I got to school he came to he came to look for me do you, so. I, I went to visit him, blah blah blah. Before you know, man, I have this mindset like because where I was, I was like, I don't understand where am I? Because the whole set and everything was kind was was rough to me. I was like, I don't understand where am I? So I have this this mindset. Should, should I say it was the mindset that played on you? Your mindset actually played on you. That was what happened. I don't think there was anything like my. Okay, let me let me explain something to you. When I say that I've been open to magic, because I didn't want to tell, and that's why I told Daddy Freeze, if you understand what divination and necromancy is, but I'm not going to say it in a way of any form, because of it's kind of, if you're talking about it's a way of initiation, but I will just say it in a way that would not confuse people. You know, um, my grandfather used to be a chief priest from a part of the Dion cult my dad i'm second i'm second generation christian do you understand so him touching me with that thing opened me to ascent essential like different things like i i never even knew that my grandfather used to okay, practice felt, those kind of I things felt it. i felt it i i I if I my cause of right now my phone I can't really send I will send like a news article. This article was written a, like years before I was born, but it was written about my clan, written about like things around that. Anybody that tell you that because of we can't we can't live in this in the physical realm and, and neglect the spirit and neglect the soul, or the soul is actually the mind. So people will be like the spirit means knowledge, but the spirit is a the spirit is also knowledge. That is the spirit mystery, but you still have the spirit realm where 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 it's like it's like how should I put now? Like your dad stands as like a lawyer to defend you in that realm. Now, I'm going to plead with you so to stop what, what crying is, because it's affecting the TikTok feed, and I'm getting warnings. So stop crying. Just gather yourself together okay. and be strong. Tell your story because I tell media's. Uh, okay. They don't want yeah. it, they don't want to sound like somebody is crying and somebody is mm -hmm. going to 
now start shutting everything down. We're already going to. Okay. So by me being touched in that way, it has awoken like different things that I did not even know before. I started finding things about my How my past and everything. Find things about I past? asked my dad oh. like who was it just just came it came upon me it's like how should like you can use it is if people can call it discernment people can call it boy it's like it's like it's more like inspiration like i can i can be seated here so yes so hi say, glory you, uh, good something? evening daddy freeze good evening everyone and i'm really first of all i want to say the story i um, i listened this early this evening and again you, you're talking about it and i feel very sorry for you and um my sincere condolence to you i don't know if that's a word to use uh one i don't understand you coming from this thing in nigeria you came to the uk by however you got to the uk and then you ended up being with a guy who, are, who is unemployed yeah. why would you put yourself through that that's one question on one then i'm um, not the universal credit is getting is 70 pounds or 80 pounds a week is that what you're living is giving you do you know i was like a bit like oh my god why is this girl going from one fire to another fire but anyway i'm glad that you were able to get a house and they still paying the old child benefits and um i don't know there's another one they pay kids unemployed to you know mothers that aside now coming to the spiritual thing you keep saying because they touched you or the something touched you and your, your spiritual eyes open it doesn't work like that you is when your spiritual eyes open that is because you are drawn close to god you are praying that's when your spiritual lives op your life opens up but not when someone touches you with jazz things will start going wrong for you for your your en you know enemy i don't know how they say it do you understand so if you think you are under the influence of a process yeah. of uh, of a spiritual thing my darling some things will not work for you you would even as you came to the uk right they will send you back you would not even get this asylum you will not get anything you will be so surprised that's it over spiritualizing this uh so, so i don't think you are on that if we can i try to tell you no no i i i i know ma first of all the father of my child is 24. there is no way in this life he can do what a 45 year old yeah, man that's or not what i'm saying year old man at 24 he can still so have I'm a job to... that's not no, what i'm no, saying you you brought no you no, you brought it up. If no, like at the end of the day, if he wants to work or he wants to get a job, that's up to him. But the choice of me keeping the baby, that is my choice. Yeah, but again, that is what okay. I now have. let's even talk about that a little bit. I'm not, I'm not judging you, right? But I'm, I'm so, you know, I'm sorry if it's coming across like that. When you were, how old were you when you guys met? Yeah. I met. Okay. Yeah, I, but like i really don't want to talk about that but let me ex but let me explain to you you know that like that pe people have different beliefs and different practices you can to a christian you can say it's god to a muslim who says allah but to people from my from my clan you say it's abbasi young do you understand that is what people believe so in w when i was going through what i was going through i didn't feel i didn't I didn't feel that I didn't feel the hand of Christian God or Arab God. I felt something deep from my ancestry. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Even even when I was even when I was down, when I was by myself, I I felt a very strong connection. But I can't speak my language. I didn't understand my language for a long time. But I've been in Nigeria. But the moment that I got so, but the moment I was I op I, I got opened in that way i was linked back i was even i was ready to go to search look for knowledge know more about where i'm coming from to know about what my ancestors worshipped at the time so like uh, is what don't, don't is what you believe my that's what my comes extra. in for you don't cry again now so drink water sorry my voice is sorry, shaking man. drink water no no i'm um 
No, I'm okay. Me know. talking to Daddy Freeze is coming for, from a, a point of view like because of like the insults I was getting, even dating a guy that didn't have money back then, I was no, getting no, a lot of sorry, let, insults. Even my boyfriend last time when I asked him. Runs. Um, because you okay. say, you said, because you said I have to check you to see if you didn't have any infected uh, 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 STIs, mm -hmm. if, uh, if I'm correct. Uh, why were they worried? How long did you do this runs for? Uh, and I want us to talk about that because that's a part of the story that you are not yet sharing and if you want a complete healing i do believe that that would be a good place to start from yeah okay um trying to uh, i did that for the, like from 28 i think that was just two years 2018 like no ending of 2019 2018 and like i like i just when i left school that was like 2019. Mm. So I, I would say it's two mm. years roughly. Mm. Now, in that two years, yeah. how many guys do you think you did runs with? I won't I won't call them guys. Um I can I don't want to name the names of the politicians, but it was a a Benin politician guy, but he didn't win the election. Um, there was another one that he he um, he's not really is. I think how I can't give names, and I can't give numbers. Nobody keeps track. All I can say is that I was just interested in the money. That was now, just my mindset. No, so okay. I so can't. Call this runs. It's give. not like you were doing hookup. You were just hanging out. It's they not were, hook up, no. That is, let me explain something to you. Intercourse and all these things that you were doing. Um, the po politicians were uh, paying you for for the intercourse and all that, that you were doing. No, no, that you freeze. There is like. So someone can call you, like a girl, my friend can call you and be like, "Oh, we're going to go and see this politician guy." Do you understand? Let's go there together and all of that stuff. And there's the one that you can meet someone on your own. You understand? When you guys go to the bedroom, you guys can discuss like the price and things like that. So those things, hook up, runs, sugar baby, escort, those things are all different. Yeah. Even the p word, a shower walk, is different. You understand? A shower one is the one where you have yeah. a pimp, someone yeah. that will be pimping you out to people. Hook up is like you may, may be having a relationship with someone, but it also falls under the category of mistress or condescent. Do you understand? Why runs is just you runs they can you can sleep with this person this day, sleep with another person that same day, just to oh, make contribution oh, to make get money what for yourself. You doing, so all these things are all different. Different partners on a single day. Uh, yeah or you can or they or they give you um your even self a boy position can give you the like just everything you like the money you're looking for at once wow 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 hi omo this is this is a bit technical this is a bit technical um i'm glad you're sharing your story because if you don't have people are telling you don't talk don't talk don't talk there's no healing when you don't talk. And how do you help people? Many people are saying, don't, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. God, may God not open your, your report card, make everybody see what you they do. We just they pray for you. TikTok is back. Sorry, guys. Um, I, I'm so sorry, TikTok. Because she was crying, they thought it was some sort of self-harm, so they had to log me out and uh it's a lot of stress so uh we're good we're gonna get back to it uh ladies do you have anything to say so i can bring other people my lovely lady that started with me what's your name i remember you started with me uh jamie oh jamie jane how old is your I'm baby? jane oh 
She's wow, that means you just put to bed. You never say. Okay, okay. You are, I married him, so I shouldn't be asking. But since we are just here, have you ever at any point in time done uh, uh, runs or when you were in school, when you were younger, did you ever? Daddy freeze. <laughs> when I was when I was in school, I had a lot of friends. In fact, that's their job. Even my host, my host, my host stay as a whole because where I stayed. That place was a three-story building. In fact, all the old girls there. That's what they do. So all the 